So as you probably noticed, we're gonna be doing a get ready with me today with my main feature, which is the sweetest can be <laughs> Winnie the Pooh palette uh, collab that ColourPop did. I talked to my boyfriend about how I was in pan over purchase, but how I was thinking about using a purchase to pick this up because I love Winnie the Pooh so much. Um, and he told me not to get it because he was going to get it for me along with some other goodies that I'll show you guys. But I'm really excited about this because one, nothing that ColourPop has done has cut, like caught my eye in so long. Um, but this was just, I love Winnie the Pooh <laughs> and I feel like they did this so well. I was like about to cry in my nostalgia. And then it says, little things are beautiful too. Flowers are such friendly things. Like how cute is this? You guys, I not often one for uh, packaging, uh, but this is just, I feel like I will never get rid of this because of the packaging in all honesty. And I'm not even like a person that likes to keep packaging. Tito. That's Tito hacking in the back. Sorry about that. But I do also love this color story. I think it is gorgeous. Uh, I will insert some swatches for you guys as well. Because I'm sure some of you are probably curious about that. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get my eyeballs primed so that we can start rocking and rolling. <laughs> I do have some new items that I'm still trying to get my thoughts, like newer items that I'm still trying to get my thoughts around. So I'll be using those today as well as some brand new items to me that I got through my wish list swap with Becca. So we're going to be dabbling in some newer stuff today, which honestly is always fun and I've already found such a short amount of time. I've really come to just look forward to these videos because I typically film this on a Sunday where I can just sit down and not worry about how anything looks on my face and do like, you know, whatever I want. And if it doesn't work out, it's fine because I'm not going anywhere and I can really just get a full wear test in. So I really grown to like this concept and I'm just setting my lid down with my focus shade. I'm still working on the Tati Beauty. Uh, the shade right here is still my focus setting shade. I feel like, I don't know, I might start pulling some more focus shades from this soon. We'll see. I'm kind of like in a weird makeup place right now in general, so I don't really know. Definitely not committing to anything right now, but just something I've been thinking about. Um, and I haven't even really, I, be, I literally just pulled this out of the packaging, so I haven't even really thought about like the color story or what I want to do. Um, oh God, it's just, it's literally so pretty. Um, I think I'm going to go into the shade think 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 this really pretty yellow here <laughs> which is just so I mean if you've seen Winnie the Pooh you know that's so cute and this is what I'm gonna use all over this seems to have really nice pigmentation look at that payoff which color pops formula is usually pretty good and I found it to be consistent I don't have a ton of their, I think I only have one ColourPop palette actually left in my collection. But I found their formula to be good. It's just finding, you know, a standout color story since they're putting stuff out every five seconds, basically. So yeah, I'm gonna just use this as a base. Wow, that is so pretty. This yellow doesn't match my shirt at all, but that's fine. We don't care. Now I think the next shade I want to go into is this one right here. And I think that I want to continue to do this all over the lid and just keep that up in the uh, transition area. So I'm just going to focus this one on the lid. This shade is Pooh Bear. 
which seems to have a nice orange pole to it, like an orangey peach situation. But that also could be because it's on top of the yellow. But it's so, so pretty. <laughs> Okay, now that we have that, I'm going to take a bit of this deeper brown right here, and that is what I'm going to pack on the outside. The shade is called Best Friends. I'm assuming he's referring to Piglet. All right, and then just for fun, because like I mentioned, I'm not going anywhere. I think I'm gonna do some mixing of the shimmers on my lid. Just taking a bit of the NYX Glitter Glue to get it good and, good and primed, ready to roll. And I think I'm gonna go into the shade Honey Tree, which is really pretty right here. Ooh, oh! Oh, do you guys see that? Wow, that is stunning. Oh my lord. This has like the most green pull. Like I was not, I haven't swatched it yet. So like I was not ready for that at all. Um, And then I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this pink shimmer, Oh Bother. And put a little that on it. And a little bit of the gold, which is the shade Make Believe. I just put that in the center. I, I will say though, like, even though this is popping and it's pretty, like, um, it's not very like, they're not very like sparkly. If that makes sense. Okay, let's try a different method over here. Cause I'm really not, um, Hector, quit whipping that around, baby. I'm really not in love with, um, this eye. That could be my own fault. Let's go, I'm gonna go in with this shade Sing Ho right here. And I use that, which is a very pretty green. That's stunning. Mm, I don't know you guys, maybe I'm just having like one of those weird makeup days, you know, where you just hate it, even though like it doesn't look bad, you're just like not in love with it. Like, I feel like maybe I'm having one of those because nothing like blended out poorly or anything. Like, I don't know. And maybe like the color of my shirt is just like throwing off the color story. So it's like not vibing with it. I, I'm really just not sure. Um, I am going to pop off to my brows and we'll be back. All right. So my brows are not even fucking cousins today, but... It'd be like that on Sundays, so it is what it is. I'm gonna go on with a little bit of my KVD Good Apple Concealer. I love this. Uh, it is full coverage. Honestly, I can easily only use one dot and I have more than enough, but it blends out really nice. As you guys know, I did like a full review. Wears really great, really nice coverage. I'm not gonna prime my face today. Um, of course, I've done my skincare, but the um, tint that I'm gonna use is very glowy. So I'm gonna see what it looks like without an illuminating primer, because those are like the only primers that I use are illuminating, so I don't wanna use one of those today. Next, I'm gonna go in with, a review should be up on my IG by the time this goes up or shortly after. 
with the Huda Beauty Tan Pour. And if I could just not drop everything, that would be so great for everybody involved, I feel like. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. This is the shade Fair. I mean, I, I think it's kind of, I don't really think that it's, I don't think fair is an accurate description. And this is like pigmented AF, you guys. So like I barely, I just went tap, tap. That's what's on my brush. And I have enough for like almost my whole face. <laughs> um, I'm doing it under the tint because of how like warm and pigmented this pulls. It's just, I'm, I'm not talent, I guess talented enough, um, to put it like on top. It makes me too nervous because I have tried that and I messed up my makeup. So I'm going to prefer to underpaint with this. And I think it, blends out nicely, easily, all those things. It's just very um, warm, especially for being fair. So what is happening right there? Hmm. I don't know why there's like a weird patch right there on my face. It's so weird. I'm gonna take it off, give it a second and do it again. All right, so I wiped it off. It's had time to dry down. I'm gonna go in with a little bit again. I don't feel like I had that issue the first time. So it might just be something weird with my cheek. I don't know, I've been it's that same spot again. I think it's my cheek. I've been doing like, huh? looks kind of patchy over there too. What the fuck? That is so weird. I don't, I don't feel like it was patchy like that before. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Maybe it's because I didn't do a primer. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to go in. The tint I was talking about is the multi Dew Skin Tint from Glowish. This one's in the shade 02, which is Fair Light. Um... And I haven't been testing this because I did try it one time and it was much too warm for me. So I'm hoping now that I've been, you know, doing some self tanning, that it'll be a better shade for me to test it out. It's better, but golly, man, it is still still pretty warm. Ooh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you feel like I can get away with it while I'm self tanned? Or do you still think she's pulling a little, a little too warm for me? I'll get it all on and then we can decide. <laughs> guys what do you think I I still think it's a little warm but I think I could maybe get away with it um potentially let me know what your thoughts are I definitely don't think shade range wise that this falls in the fair light um at all personally like 
yeah, I just, it feels um, pretty deep in my opinion to be fair light. I would say a light medium or even a medium. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. It is very glowy, dewy. I think it looks great on camera. Up close, I could see where this might emphasize some texture. Um, and maybe next I will, sorry, I'm like looking in my mirror. Uh, maybe next I will try this with like a pore filling primer. I think that might be something that could be a necessity while using this. Um, but I am going to try and focus on getting my thoughts around it more now that I do have a self tan. That way, if, you know, I am not loving it, then I can go ahead and pass it on before it gets bad. But yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts as of now. I am super just unsure about it. This is, like I said, only the second time I've tried it, but it, it definitely wasn't love at first use, put it that way. The next product I'm going to try is from She Glam. I got this in my swap with Becca. And this is our liquid blush in the shade Hush Hush. This packaging is so sleek and cool. Um, and it twists up from the top. And then you have this little applicator here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on a few dots. That shade looks so, so pretty. And then blend them out. Wow, that shade is gorgeous. Ooh, hunty. I like this. And it seems to be laying on top of things nicely. I feel like. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Wow, what a beautiful, nice, natural flush. This is pretty. One dot might have been too much right there, but. Oh, no. Okay. I'll be interested to see how this wears in terms of wear time. And I'll keep testing it. Like I said, I'll have reviews of this up at some point on IG or if I use it again over here. But um, I keep forgetting. I'm like trying this technique where I just keep my blush up here and I really like the way that it looks. But I'm so used to bringing it all the way down um, that sometimes I forget that that's what I'm doing and I just naturally bring it down. <laughs> so I'm like trying to fix it. But I think it looks really pretty like a super natural flush. Gorgeous. And as you saw, like it blended out super easily. It didn't have any issues at all. So yeah, this is stunning. The next item I'm going to use um, is, it's going to be something a little bit different. So hang with me here. I have filmed both parts of my um, declutter, but I have not uh, made them public yet. I am waiting because usually my declutters do fairly well. Um, and in the middle of May will be my one year mark. So um, I'll have to restart trying to meet my 4,000 hours again. So I'm kind of saving it for that. But this is an item that I had planned to declutter. This is the Mulan blush in the shade Mashmaker. I love this. I just don't use powdered blush. And then I was like, I wonder if I could get away with this um, as a bronzer because the shade that it is. Because I was like, oh, if I could use it as a powder bronzer, which I definitely think that I can. Um, then honestly, this already has a lot of progress. Like maybe I could even finish it. And I think like it'll it'll pull like a different tone. But I don't know. I think that that looks I think that looks okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go in on the top, like I normally would with a powder brush, and see yeah I think I could totally get away with this shade using it as a bronzer what do you guys think think it looks okay or do you think I'm delusional it does have a little bit of a pinky red pull because 
it is blush um but i don't know i feel like i can definitely get away with that next up even though i probably don't need it i am going to use a little bit of my spectral shine this one's in the shade mirror moonlight i feel like uh these have been getting a little bit neglected lately because i have been on top of that kosas duo that i have and i really love the um highlighting portion of that and so i haven't been using these as much so that'll be a good time to break it out just for fun I am going to go ahead, pop off, um, and I'm going to do my lower lash and all of that, and then I'll come back for lips and show you guys the other new products, and then I'll do what my first initial thoughts are on some of these things that I've tried. Okay, so for a lipstick, uh, Luke picked some of these out. I don't... So we'll see. Um, he got me the So Juicy which I know that I like this formula because I did have a clear one of these and that's the shade and I love the clear one. Um, and then he got me the shade roundabout, which looks like another nude. Okay. We love nudes. This one might be a little pinky for my preference, but we'll see. But I'm really excited to have these back in my collection. Like I said, I have one before um, and I've actually really missed it. It's a really nice light plumper, but it, it really does just make your lips look so juicy. And then a lipstick. Uh, this one is the shade uh, CA Love and it is their Velvet Blur formula. I've never tried a ColourPop lipstick, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, it looks It looks really pretty. Oh yeah, that shade looks nice. Um, I'm kind of feeling a glossy moment, but also let's try the lipstick, I guess, um, since I haven't tried this before. Well, that was easy. I would say velvet is an accurate um, description and it kind of has a vanilla-y um, taste slash scent going on. It applied super easily. I'm just going to add a little bit of a liner. Yeah, I think that this formula feels nice. Lightweight, comfortable. Yeah, I don't know. I could see myself really enjoying this. I'll have to keep testing it out, of course. Um, some final thoughts. I really think if this has some good lasting power, I'm going to love it. So I'll keep you all posted on that. As far as the, this, I don't know what's going on with this. Like I thought that I liked this other than the shade being warm, but I don't know why it was getting patchy on the sides there. So I'm going to have to try it out a little bit more before my final thoughts. Um, cause I'm thinking maybe it just needs like a prime, like a primer base or something. I'm not really sure. I'll keep working with it. Um, I'll keep trying this out as well now that I am self tanned and let you guys know my thoughts um as we move along my hair looks so dumb move along move along yeah i don't know anyways oh well so yeah i'll keep you posted on that um and then i think i figured out what my problem is with this so i want to be clear i don't think that the formula is bad i don't think that it's bad and I don't think either of these looks look bad. I think that both eye looks look really pretty. I think I was just being a little harsh on them because it's not what I'm used to, like formulation wise. I think that the mattes are what I love. They were pigmented, easy, uh, easily blendable. I didn't have any issues there. I think that my issue was the shimmers. And maybe all ColourPop shimmers are this way, um, but I don't recall them being that way. And I have the, um, uh, I have the Sandstone palette, um, which like I really, really love. And yeah, no, these aren't that way. Um, okay. All right. Just, I just confirmed it with myself. Okay. 
So my problem with these shimmers is that they're powdery. Like, I don't know what it is about them. Um, but whereas see, like those dogs are barking, those shimmers are like, um, thicker, denser, wetter formulas. So you get a more like sparkly payoff. Like it, it packs more of a punch is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then these are more of a powdery shimmer. Whereas you can even see by the swatch, like, God, am I even an influencer? <laughs> Let me know. Um, but like, they just don't have the same opacity or pack the same punch. Like they're just very lackluster. And like, like I said, I don't think that it looks bad. I just don't think makeup wise that that is my preference for like a really light um, kind of shimmer. Like I like something more sparkly and unfortunately I'm just <laughs> gonna swatch these as well. Yeah, you and you can tell how powdery that one is. But I don't know, I think shimmer wise, I think the green one was the best because uh, I put a lot of them on my lid over there. But yeah, I just, the shimmers aren't hitting it for me. So I don't, I don't know. I think that the packaging was an absolute home run and I will hold on to it for that reason. Uh, I love Winnie the Pooh. It's so cute. I think it's going to be a really cute piece to just set back here. Um, but I don't know how often I will reach for it just because the shimmers aren't really that great, which is so weird to me. Um, I don't know if you pick this up, let me know in the comments, like your thoughts or what you're thinking, or if you've recently, um, picked up a ColourPop palette, what's that experience been like? Because, uh, the last one I bought was this one and this, I bought this like over a year ago, I want to say like a year and a half, maybe whenever it launched a year and a half ago, maybe pushing two years ago. Um, so I almost wonder if like they changed that formulation a little bit or what, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm feeling kind of weird about that. <sighs> so anyways, um, <laughs> If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up before you go. If you made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.